What if I told you your brain was like Play-Doh? It's soft, malleable, and ever-changing. Each one of your thoughts leaves an imprint, just like this. The more you repeat this thought, the deeper the imprint becomes. This is how your brain forms neural pathways. We all have good and bad days, and our brain takes note of them all. Good and bad thoughts leave a mark. But the good news are, these marks are reversible. You are never stuck. You can always reshape your brain. And the term for this is neuroplasticity. Each time you think a thought, your neurons fire together. This firing strengthens their connection. For example, if you always tell yourself, I'm terrible at this, this neural connection will strengthen. However, this negative self-talk releases cortisol. Cortisol leads to stress, anxiety, and fatigue. In the long run, cortisol can impair almost all of your body functions, including your immune system. If, instead, you tell yourself, I'm learning or I'm improving, this releases dopamine and serotonin. These neurotransmitters are responsible for boosting your mood, happiness, and motivation. As you can see, positive self-talk is not only important for your mental, but also your physical health. Neuroplasticity is real and science-based, not just any theory. So since your thoughts shape your brain, it is important to set the right default. If you keep a positive attitude, even during challenging moments, you're able to set yourself up for resilience. Ask yourself, where does my self-talk not align with a growth mindset? Where can I make a change in order to set myself up for success? Always remember, small changes in the words you say can have a huge impact on your brain and your life. So I understand that this may sound a little bit abstract, so I would like to share with you how neuroplasticity may show up in real life. For example, after a stroke, patients may relearn their abilities to walk and talk through targeted practices. This is only possible to the, due to the brain's ability to form new neural pathways. This is just one example of how capable our human brain really is. I would also like to share a more personal example of how neuroplasticity has had an impact on my life. I have always been a perfectionist. That means I set really high standards for myself. This, however, means that I put myself under a lot of pressure. At some point, I realized that's not sustainable for me. I knew I had to make a change, and this change was possible through neuroplasticity. I had to realize I can't be flawless. I had to separate who I am from what I achieve. And I also reshifted my focus from perfection onto learning. And this is when it happened. My stress levels lowered, and my mindset became more healthy. I was also able to relearn having fun in the process of learning. My brain had rewired itself. So now you may wonder, how can I apply neuroplasticity in my own life? Well, I'm here today to share with you three tools that you can use to rewire your brain. Mindfulness, reframing self-talk, and gratitude. First up, mindfulness. Mindfulness targets your prefrontal cortex, which is responsible for decision-making and focus. It also calms your amygdala, which is the brain's fear center. You can practice mindfulness through breathing exercises. There's various ones online, and they're often guided. I'm sure there's one that fits for you. Secondly, reframing self-talk. Think of your neural pathways like hiking trails. The more often you walk down the path of telling yourself, I'm terrible at this, the easier this path will become to walk. However, if you start telling yourself, I'm growing or I'm improving, your old path will eventually grow over. This is your brain rewiring itself towards positivity. And lastly, gratitude. Gratitude is a quality of being thankful, and it reshifts your focus on the positives in life. You can reach gratitude in many different ways. What I like to do is to write down three things I'm grateful for each morning and each night. This only takes one minute and has been shown to boost levels of serotonin and dopamine. 
Research also shows that after just 21 days, your life satisfaction is supposed to go up significantly. So, I would like us to have a try at this together. I'd like everyone to close their eyes, take a deep breath, and think about your day. What did you appreciate today? This could be anything. A person, a moment, or a thing. How do you feel now? Can you maybe tell how your body softens a little? That's not just in your head. It's actually your body rewiring itself towards positivity. But let's stay realistic. Neuroplasticity isn't instant or some kind of magic. It takes time and consistency. You can always rewire your brain at any age. It may become harder to mold, but it's always possible. You can support this through healthy habits like eating, sleeping, and living a balanced lifestyle. Always give yourself some time and patience. So here's what I'd like you to remember from today. You are never stuck. You can always reshape your brain. Reflect on your self-talk. Where can you make a shift to set yourself up for resilience? Replace I can't with I'm growing. And think of your brain like a muscle. You have to train it in order for it to grow. And this happens through consistency. Don't just do it for yourself. Also do it, do, do it for the community around you. I believe that with words of growth and hope, we'll be able to remold our collective future. Thank you.